And we're back. I managed to haul Trance back in for the finale. Hello, that's Yurito, and this is a digital simulation of a trance. You lie. Or do I? Oh, yes. Or do I? Finally going to the surface. Or are you? Try the water. It's full of pollution. We don't actually know what time this did. Well, that sound was an annoying spam call coming through on my cell phone. We do know that cell phones and Gurren Lagan have been invented. Hmm, true. Yeah. Although, on the other hand, they've been underground for ages, so their water is probably chock full of fracking juice. And look at what it does to the fish! Although, this world might not actually be full of pollution. If we think about it, the timeline is very different from normal Earth simply because of the monster war. Yeah. And the fact that we know humans have magic. Pepperus, best mascot. Oh dear. Did you see the uh, googly eyed Gaster Blasters picture, by the way? I did not. Just a moment. Oh. Sans, y you could stop warping reality. video with Azrael, he, com he comments, Why would you climb to the top of Mount Ebbet? It's a place where people go to disappear. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make sense that you wouldn't want to stay with her at this point, because she's nice. It's implied at the very least that Frisk doesn't really have a home to go back to. We don't know why Frisk chose to go to Mount Ebbet, but... Whatever it was, well... It doesn't matter now, because... Goat Mom. Yes. As near as we can tell, Chero went there on purpose because he intended to level grind on monsters or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember that sprite.
I actually heard that the yellow text is if you did something specific with them. Yeah, you have to spare them and forget if it's the normal way or the special way. Some have an alternate spare. Hey, Pepperus finally has that car he wanted. Sands is still a troll. I found out what Shiren's is, though I didn't do it with this playthrough. Oh? Yeah, Shiren, you actually have to keep singing with a specific Shiren after she's gone into spare like five times. And she gets very good at singing. The two of you like go on concerts and sells tickets and you eventually part your part ways. Wow. And then her spit, her yellow text is that she. Oh, well, let's have a look at more nonsense. I do find it fun that defeating Shire with the uh, multi sing method lets you get the night. Is it the night night? Quicker. Night, night, yeah. Aaron, reluctantly drawn by Temmie. I'm curious as to uh, which ones are drawn by the author of um, Monster Pulse. The game name just fell out of my head. Or, Monster Demon. Pulse. Monster Pulse, that's it. Metaton get a shiny new body for this? Mm-hmm. Metaton is just a weirdo. Well, yeah. Be yeah, like Shiren's yellow text is released her first hit single. When you say goodbye to me, it's like bu magical bullets are spewing forth from your lips and hitting me. Yeah, that. Yeah. Use your imagination! Wow. I'm guessing using, not using the stick would have gotten me the yellow dialogue for the lot of them. Probably. Wow, he really did carve a hedge in the shape of Papyrus's head. This, by the way, is why I think they're still together, at the very least. Toriel and Asgore, simply because they both have a school. Yeah. And while, yes, Asgore is just a groundskeeper, that's what he's mentioned liking. He loves just, flowers. And yeah. Tea. He's the kind of guy who would probably be a really crappy principal because he's oh, I, I want to punish you, but uh, I just want a garden, oh, damn it. Is he trolling me? Yes. Let's see how good you are at bullet hell. Oh, joy. Ah! At least I have- oh god! Oh, you got hit. You won't get access to the developer's room. Not kidding. You can get access to a special developer's room by avoiding every last pass. It is just as hellish as it looks. Uh. The 
scrolling is messing with my brain. Sometimes it feels like I'm going faster or slower, even though I'm not. Assuming these are all the backers who got the credits named here. <laughs> Curse you people for donating so much money to this game! And also thank you for donating so much money to this game. I'm really looking forward to the follow-up game. What's that one gonna be about? It's believed to be about Gaster. Ah. Because it's, Toby mentioned, if that game is back, it's going to be related to Undertale, but darker, darker, yet darker. Yeah, that's pretty much saying, Gaster. And I do want to know more about him. And now Porky bangs on the door, and no. Here is where we would have nightmares for the rest of our lives if I had done the genocide run. For uh, those of you who don't know, at that point, the spirit of Kara forcibly possesses you and murders everyone else one by one. I believe the final image you get is a picture of everyone all of them except you crossed out in red. It's actually two separate endings depending on whether you choose to stay with Toriel or go on your way. Ah, fair you enough. Get the picture either, you get the picture either way if you go on your own way as a memorandum. It's just in the post-genocide ending, it's all X'd out. Whereas in this version of, in this version of it, hey, it's Toby. Hey, Toby Dog. In this version, instead of going to sleep, Frisk turns with crimson eyes. Which are the hallmark of Kara. It's... Yeah. If you ever get a genocide ending, the only way to get the good ending again is to completely rip all of the game's files from your computer up to and including editing hidden areas of the registry. Actually, all you have to do is get rid of the registry. That's the only place that stores it. Ah. Fair enough. I thought it also stored some information in the save. I'm not sure, actually. It might, but... It's really the registry that's the problematic one. You can easily edit it out if you know where you're clicking. I find it amusing that it's basically the only way to stop Kara is to out-meta him. Yes. Yeah. You gonna do anything, Toby? I don't believe there's anything special on this screen, although I'm not sure. I'll try clicking on Toby. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy game programmer? You are! I think you just did that. Yeah. I don't think my clicking had any effect. No, yeah, he eventually just kind of lays down. Yeah. You lazy programmer! Get back to work! I should probably stop stalling for time, because this seems to be pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Well, viewers, I guess you could say this is the end of Let's Play Undertale. Well, I could Does show the flowy begging thing. Nah. Let's... let him have his peace. Okay. We it's been a hard road, but with determination, we got through. Yes. And remember, viewers... Hoi! I'm Timmy! I'm Bob. <laughs>